Hi everybody and welcome to Heel Heat. This is our Ring of Honor show for the week. My name is George Coles. This is my tag team partner, Swole. Gary Rhodes, everybody. Going right into it, in case you guys don't know, we have a new Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Champion. And probably there hasn't been a more deserving world champion since Mrs. Foley's baby boy, Jay Briscoe. I, I like I like the, the fact that he opened up the show with all the, the Ring of Honor stars circling the ring and giving props to Jay. And Jay like you said, Jay does deserve it. Um, but Adam Cole had a little problem with that, didn't he? Well, he didn't necessarily have a problem. He just said, I respect you, but I'm going to challenge you to, to a match at Border Wars. Thus setting up the main event, Jay Briscoe versus Adam Cole. Should be a tremendous match. I think so, too. Speaking of tremendous matches... Go right into the first match of the show. Eddie Edwards versus Bobby Fish. If I didn't see the main event after this, which was a great match too, I was, I was wondering why this wasn't the main event. This was such a great match. Oh, it was awesome. You got two of the two of the best workers in the world in there wrestling with each other. I mean, they're both wrestling machines. They had counters to counters to counters. Well, a guy like Fish, it just makes me wonder, I mean, why hasn't he been any bigger than what he is now? The guy's awesome. Same with Edwards. Yeah. I, I, I like Fish better, and Fish got over on the match. Um, no, of course, you know, I always go for the heels, man. But uh, I, I thought this was an excellent match, and it showcased both skills, and it d didn't make Edwards look weak for losing. You know what I really I think made it so much better is because they do team as a... They are teammates in Japan, which, that, which Kevin Kelly brought up at Nas Nausea. Oh, yeah. And the thing of it is... I, I I hate to rail on him so much. I, we don't do it often, but Kevin Kelly, I mean, to me, he distracts from the product. Oh, he's the weakest part of the show. Yeah. And and it's stuff like this that reminds you of that. He had Eddie or not Eddie Edwards, Dave, David Richards on commentary with him. Um, they're going to be working out new color commentators. Hopefully, the new commentator takes him in a different direction, but. Well, what was the Gabriel, uh, Gabriel? What was his name? Like the kid that uh, I can't remember. He was, but he was very. He was a Kevin Kelly prototype. Clone. Yeah, and you, you don't want that. You want a little bit of excitement. Maybe someone that's going to you know bring Kevin Kelly out. You know, Kevin Kelly's been around for Hermie the Hermaphrodite and everything for years. I mean, think about it. Kevin Kelly has been in some of the most important angles in wrestling history. Yeah, he had a gun pulled on him. Yeah. You'll never see a gun on Monday Night Raw again. Nope. But anyways, I just hope that he'll bring a little bit more flavor, or whoever it is, he or she will bring a little bit more flavor to the show. Uh, What's interesting is she. Yeah. You never know anymore. Uh, our next match was a tag team match. Alabama Attitude versus QT Marshall and R. the Barrister R.D. Evans. And this was the initial match. Everybody's initials in this. Yeah. It was more of a showcase to show you Marshall and Evans. Uh, they played Evans basically as an egomaniac that's getting over off of Marshall's talents. You know, I, I like it. I really like it. I, I liked Marshall, and he really have nothing done nothing with the guy for a while. So if they're going to do this, and it, Evans can really work. Yeah. So honestly, I, I think it, it, this will be good for both these guys' career. I see a breakup between the both of them coming. I don't know how soon, but it's going to happen. Yeah, I mean, they're built. It's obvious. It's laying there in the background. And um, the thing I the thing I didn't like is we didn't get to see a Marshall style clash thing he does. Or not Marshall, Evans. Oh, where he did it at the... Uh, the at inverted the, style clash, wasn't it? Yeah, at a yeah. final battle. I mean, that's the only thing it was missing to me. It's kind of like seeing a P.D. Williams match without the Canadian Destroyer. Well, I think they're really going to... You're probably not going to see that move again for a long, long time. Because they're going to make it where Marshall is going to be the muscle behind the whole match. Yeah, exactly. And that move is pretty awesome, though. I wish someone else would use it so we'd see it more often. There you go. Now, speaking of somebody we wish we see more often, uh, we had Mike Mondo came out for the main event, but... Not oh. Mike Mondo. Oh, okay. But he was interrupted by Roderick Strong. Roddy made some good points that uh, Mondo not getting over with the Ring of Honor crowd, which he really hasn't. I mean, mm -hmm. it seems forced. 
It really does. And don't get me wrong, I, I, I think Mondo, he's a hell of a competitor, but he's just never going to get over to I me mean, being a cheerleader. I don't, I don't think he's a ring of honor wrestler. No. I mean, he could probably go to TNA and probably they'd forget all about it, but he'd get lost into the mix. There, I mean, TNA's really, or not, ring of honor is really trying to make him a star, but I just don't think he has it in him. I honestly think he needs well, to well, they, they wear a mask or something. They end up getting a little bit of a scrum. And then it brings out uh, the, ma the main event of the night, a five-way scramble match. The winner is the number one contender for the television title. We have Mike Mondo versus Caprice Coleman, Selic I'm sorry, Cedric Alexander, B.J. Whitmer, and Mark Briscoe. Mark ends up winning with the froggy bow over top of Alexander, which I thought was pretty damn awesome. This is your uh, first, first time seeing one of their five-man scramble matches. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. I know you were pretty impressed. There's pretty much you throw away all ring psychology and it becomes just a spot fest is what mm -hmm. I, I mean it's it's entertaining. It, it seemed to me like uh, money in a bank without a ladder. Yeah. It's it's entertaining. If they do it too much then it's overkill. Yeah. If they throw it every once in a while it, it's good. And I like the I like the aspect of Mark Briscoe winning. I wouldn't be surprised to see him win the T V title. And both Briscoes have single titles on them. I mean, why not? They, they've been there since day one. And they're great competitors. I mean, yeah. you, you could have a, a, a shitty wrestler be there from day one, and you can use that excuse, but these guys are great wrestlers. Exactly. You know, I think when you say from been here since day one, I think that kind of takes away from their ability. To me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I deserve <coughs> it. Yeah. Because I've been here since day one, I deserve it because I'm the best there is. And I think they are the best the company has to offer there you go. at this moment. Now, coming off of that, um, we do our rating system. Basically, it's one to five, five being the best, one being the worst. I'll go ahead and let you start off. What do you think of this one? Gary? I'm going to give it four stars. I, I, I liked everything about the show. It just didn't have that extra touch. I'm going to go ahead and nail it with a five. Um, everything I've seen on here, the Edwards versus Fish was a phenomenal match. They had a hot opener setting up a world title match at a pay-per-view which I enjoyed. I'm, I'm really excited to see that match. Alabama Attitude versus Marshall and Evans. I mean, they're not superstars, but they put on a great match. Well, they damn sure did. And then you got the five-way scramble at the end, which is nothing but 15 minutes of just high spot after high spot. Can't go wrong with that. You know wrong with that. Ain't got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Right. <laughs> Basically, that's all i got to say about this. Just for me. My name is George Coles, Gary Rhodes, and this has been our Heel Heat Ring of Honor show.